In the early years of Hollywood, deaf and hearing people were entertained by their favorite actor in a movie with subtitles. And if you remember your grandparents talking about the Roaring Twenties, you'll enjoy this next story. Pictures in Motion. People were startled to see pictures of life in action through peepholes as kinetoscopes began to appear in parlors in 1890. This train, that really scared people out of theaters, and they were relieved when they realized they were not hit. In 1914, Hollywood was an unknown city, and movie industries found it perfect to make camp. At the same time, there appeared a funny-looking man wearing a black mustache and a derby hat and carrying a cane. Charlie Chaplin became a Hollywood hit. He thrilled children and electrified adults with his genuine comedy. Master of pantomime, he was also a favorite with deaf viewers. Although they could not prove it, many believe the Chaplin learned his pantomime skills from a deaf man, Granville Redmond, who worked for Chaplin as an actor and a painter. Redmond was a very successful artist in Paris and San Francisco, and Chaplin admired Redmond's paintings. While in the painting studio, Chaplin persuaded Redmond to take part in one of his films. Assuring him that it was not necessary to speak, that plain, ordinary lip movements and pantomime would do. Redmond eventually appeared in A Dog's Life in 1918. The Kid in 1921. A Woman of Paris in 1923. And City Lights in 1931. In 1929, the advent of talkies marked the end of the silent movie era, and Chaplin used these sound effects to protest the advent in his film City Lights. Deaf communities across the nation were also upset by the move to talkies. And some superintendents of schools for the deaf wrote letters to the Hollywood film industry suggesting films be captioned, but to no avail. Essay contests gave students at many schools an opportunity to criticize the demise of the silent movie. The New York Times printed deaf people's complaints with their demand that the silent movie return to the screen. But protest could not alter the effect of the new technology. And the equal status deaf people enjoyed in the film industry came to an end. As sound and voice took hold on the screen, Hollywood lost interest in deaf actors, and the heyday of mime artists came to an end. <laughs> 